So I want to do something big, different. Um, it's going to really take balls. Oh, there we go. So now we have to put up a warning before, <laughs> before this clip runs. Uh, beep. We're going to leave all of that. No, no, don't bleep. <laughs> uh, what? People tell me, and you know what I love about your comedy? It's clean. And it's kind of not a compliment for me. It's like, what is clean? When you're going to say you got to be very good at it. you got to be the best. Gad Elmaleh has been a huge star in the French-speaking world for more than 20 years. He's considered a pioneer of stand-up comedy in France, and he's acted in dozens of movies. His newest challenge? Making Americans laugh in a language he only recently learned. I just moved to America. Uh, yeah, perfect timing. Christian, what is hanging out? I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm just hanging out. I'm, I'm posted up. It's it, nothing. It's nothing. It means absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what is your comedic style? How would you describe your style? I'm obsessed with, with little things of everyday life, you know? You, you know? I don't know, the shirt, the thing, the little pen here, and the, why, the pencil, why the little thing, like a doctor, not, not really a doctor. Um, very tall guy, but I won't do the jokes about tall people because this is the most corny and stupid jokes they Hit do. me, uh, let's try no, it out. No, because you've heard all of them and it's stupid and since you you were a kid, right? All the people, the basketball thing and the weather up there and the stupid, I hate that. A few years ago, I started not to be bored, but I just said, okay, I'm, I love what I'm doing right now, but I need a new challenge and I need um, a mistress. What? <laughs> I need so English language comedy is like your mistress. Yeah. <laughs> but you still go back to your actual of wife, course. <laughs> which is French language comedy, yeah. right? Yeah. And, she, and then she smells. Mm, you, you smell stand-up comedy. You smell, yeah. um, have you been to a, to a club? Hello. Like an old uncle who's gonna give you a lift. What's going on? Hello, all that. Yeah. Where are you? What? I'm in my apartment waiting for you. I'm on my way. I know that's the whole point of this app. They're having food while I'm performing. I'm not used to this. Really? You hear like silverware clinking. Silverware clinking, clink, clink, and then the check, and I see credit cards coming, and the waiter's wet. It's so like beer, 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 beer. Oh, but it's if you make it there, <laughs> you you get strong, stronger. Tell me something about the process of you going from uh, being a, a very well-known uh, French language comedian to coming to the States, being relatively unknown and trying to totally. do, and doing something in a, in a language. Totally unknown, but them. after this. This is it. This is my big break. Or my break. I'm sorry, just this a is, break. <laughs> Maybe this is where I'm gonna take a break. So, uh, you know, sometimes my publicist calls me here in the US and say, we, they're, you're not going on that TV, on that talk show. They, they don't want you. It's okay. Next time. And I'm used to, in France, everything is easy. And also, I can appreciate more what I have there. Every girl, the same video with the dress. And you know when I make Americans laugh with my jokes and they have no idea who, who I am? I feel like if a girl who has no idea who I am somewhere in the world would fall in love with me. And I'm the happiest man. I'm just, I'm a funny man. We're doing a a show with Jerry Seinfeld in Montreal. I had posters of Jerry Seinfeld <laughs> on the walls in my apartment. Can you imagine if he entered and said, oh my God, this guy is crazy. Yeah. He's gonna kill me and eat me. So I gotta go. You know, it, it's very helpful to have a role model and especially when you move here to America. My dream is to be able one day to go on stage in English, in a comedy club here for 10 minutes and do my things in English. What's, what's next for you? Madison Square Garden is next then. I would say Bell Center is the Madison Square Garden of Montreal because it's like 12,000 or 15,000 seats. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. But you know, this is what we do in Europe, you know? And here, 
we're doing these clubs and I love it. This is where we work. This is where we, you know, work the, the jokes and learn the craft in English. Uh, and I'm really, really excited. I can't wait. Ça me rend fou ton fil qui balance là. This was driving me crazy. His wire was doing like the European, they don't care. That's the observational humor, obviously. Of course, yeah. you talk to this guy, can't focus because... It's Can you imagine, it's like if you talk to me and, and, and I go like this sometimes. <laughs> like, are you okay? What's wrong with your arm?